Hashem Minha today is going to be 5.35. 5.35, please be on time. The Devar Aracha, the month of Nisan, we'll talk about the Arachot of Pesach, and in the month of Nisan, we do not say Tachanun. We don't say Vidui or Nefilat Apayim, Ana. And the reason we don't say it is because the first 12 days of the month of Nisan, every Nasi, every one of the leaders of the tribes would bring his own sacrifices. So on day one, there was Nasi, it's so day two, right? All the Nisim, so that was 12 days. After the 12 days of the Korbanot of the Nisim, there was Yisru Chag, which was the day that sort of um, culminated all of the Korbanot. And that was the 13th day of Nisan, which is also a day of celebration. The 14th of Nisan is, of course, Erev Pesach, where we bring the Korban Pesach. That's another holiday. And the 15th of Nisan is Pesach itself, when you eat the Korban Pesach and when you have that Gadash Pesach. So the 15th was itself a holiday up until the 21st. That's seven days, right? So that takes us from already the 1st till the 21st. The 22nd is Isru Chag of Pesach. The 23rd and on, Bezat Hashem, when the Bet HaMikdash will be built, will be rebuilt, the third Bet HaMikdash. So we will have seven days of celebration of the Hanukkah Bet HaMikdash on, in the month of Nisan. And that's going to be from the 23rd day all the way to the end of Nisan. So the entire month, from the very beginning to the very end of the month, is Mukdash, is holy um, to our Kadosh Baruch Hu and to the sacrifices of uh, Beit HaMikdash and at the time of the desert, the Mishkan. And since that is the case, therefore, it's a time where it's a Yom Tov, inherently it's an important day, as uh, the Torah itself say, says, Achodesh Hazel Achem Rosh Chodashim, that the entire month has the sort of element of Rosh Chodesh. You know, usually Rosh Chodesh is one day, this, this is a month of Rosh Chodesh. Why? Because it's the beginning of the year. So you view it as if it's one long 30-day period of Rosh Chodesh, and that's why we do not say Tachanun during the entire month of Nisan. Although um, I do find a little bit, sometimes people have to guard themselves to not say things that are very, very inappropriate, and sometimes in the category of Hilul Hashem, the way that people gloat and the people like are so excited, it's like a Tinoka Borech Mi Bet HaSefer. Like a child running away from school, yay, Bo Hashem, we don't have tachanun, woo, we're free, man. It's, uh, it's unfortunate, and it's actually chilul Hashem. Because what that says is, uh, the Torah of HaKadosh Baruch Hu to me is, I'd rather not have it. And what does that do to other people? That influences their perspective as well. And there's no uh, greater chilul Hashem than to bring other Jews' perspective about Torah and mitzvot down. So a person has to be very careful with the words that he says, and even the tone that he speaks about certain things. A uh, person should watch, and if he, he should call it out. If you hear someone saying something uh, inappropriate on this field, and to say he's so excited, he says, it's not really right that you're excited about that. You should be excited about the fact that it's a Yom Tov, but it shouldn't be that the Yom Tov is only because we're not saying Tachanun. That, well, that's what makes the Yom Tov for some people. Adir it's the Yom Tov that generates the lack of Tachanun, not the lack of Tachanun that generates the Yom Tov. And therefore, uh, it's important to check ourselves all the time and to realize if that's our level of Avodat Hashem, it's a very low quality of service of God. And be careful in how we speak and how we talk about the mitzvot and the Torah that HaKadosh Baruch Hu and the Chachamim have given us. Baruch Adonai Le'olam. Amen. Amen.